how to control several keyboards connected to the computer through Cubase. First, when you uh, install drivers for all of those keyboards, now you can do some setup in Cubase to make sure that you can control them. I want to control three keyboards presently connected. It is Cork PA4, Integra 7, and Motive, uh, Motive Rack. I'll do, go under Devices and click to MIDI Device Manager. First, I will erase everything to show you what you have to do. Remove devices now. Here, I have to make sure that I have templates or device scripts that I can use here uh, uh, for particular instrument that I want to control. I can do that on two ways. First way, I can go under Install Device, and there is default list of the devices that comes with Cubase. Now, I will try to find, do I have those templates for my Motiv, Yamaha Motiv Rack Access? And I will scroll down and see, yes, I think so, yes, I have. Yamaha Motiv Rack Access, I will choose it, and there I have Yamaha Motiv Rack Access. Now, output, I have to send output to this device to make sure that I will control it, and now I will find Yamaha, that is Motiv RSX1, okay? Now, I did it for a Motiv. Now, I want to install device for Integra 7. If I go through this list, I cannot find it because it doesn't exist, because it exists everything for Yamaha and something from other keyboards, depend how old this keyboard or depends if anybody made those uh, script for that keyboard. In this case, you can go on a site for that keyboard, go to downloads and try to find template for Cubase. If you cannot find, you have to make your own template. I did it for Integra because I couldn't find any template for uh, Integra anywhere. So I will import that setup, not anymore install, now I will import setup that I did for Integra and open it there, say open, and then it will show me Integra, I will say OK, and direct it here, output to Integra 7. Now. Actually, uh, for Integra, Integra 7, uh, for Motive, for Motive is, uh, let us stick with Motive. Motive is there, Integra 7 there. Now, I will insert a third instrument that I want to control. It is Korg, and I will go to Import Setup, and I will go, I can choose PA3 Cubase uh, 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 device script, it is possible to find on Dolans for Cork PA3, but I have PA4 and I cannot find that script for PA4. So what I did, I, I, uh, I actually edited PA3 script and I called that script PA4 now, and I added all those new sounds that I can find in PA4. That's why I am going to open PA4 and show you. Okay, now it's PA4 what I did, how I did edit that. Cork PA4 is directed to PA4. Now I will open this script. Here is name for the instrument. I can change that name here and put whatever I want. Then I will go here, click to devices and make sure that I am, I choose patch banks. Now here I can see all my sounds that I have on Cork. That is in factory sounds, then I can choose here legacy sounds, general MIDI sounds, and user sounds. In user sound, I can edit my sounds that I made, and I can put their name here. There is a list of the sound that I made, name, and there's some MIDI commands. So program change, bank select, and uh, other commands that I need for that. Uh, I told you that I did uh, add some sounds. I will go to user for PA4 and I created actually here one bank that I called PA4 and I'm in process of adding sounds that exist in PA4 but they don't have in PA3. Now when you uh, finish editing, you will close this and you will say export setup and put name and save on location. Now let us see how it works.
and reality. Now you will choose one track. And let us say on this track, it is guitar track. Now, let me... When I record one guitar or one instrument, and after that I decide I want to change it, I have opportunity to go here, choose which instrument do I want, for example, Yamaha, and then click there, and from Yamaha Banks, I can choose guitar that I like to play from Yamaha, from Korg, from any another keyboard. I have 14 keyboards connected, so I can control 14 keyboards directly here from Cubase,